Hi, this is Anita Frank with eXp Realty, filling out the buyer's agency contract. When this form is signed, you now have an exclusive contract to legally represent a buyer. This form is designed to be a binding contract for both broker and buyer, wherein buyer agrees to be represented by broker and no other. Simply going into a home with someone doesn't mean the person is working with you. If you don't have a signed buyer's agency contract, the individual has an option to go to another agent who will show them homes. Starting off at the very beginning of the contract are the parties involved. On the left side, the broker should fill in the name of the company, brokerage, its license number, and its contact information. On the right side, the licensee should fill in his or her name, license number, and contact information. If more than one licensee is representing the buyer, each licensee should write their name, license number, and contact information. Starting by the word buyer, insert the name or names of the buyers and their contact information. Be sure to list all buyers to make sure each one is fully bound to this agreement. The rules and regulations of the State Real Estate Commission requires a statement that the length of a buyer agency contract is negotiated between buyer and broker, which is provided here. The starting date and ending date. By signing this contract, the buyer agrees to work exclusively with broker to secure any property by purchase or lease during the term of the, the agreement. Buyer agrees to refrain from signing any other buyer agency contracts. Broker fee. Paragraph 2 B1 is broken down into two separate subparagraphs. The first deals with the fee owed if a property is purchased from a seller represented by a broker. The second part of this deals with the fee owed if a property is purchased from an unrepresented seller, which is a FISBO. The fee is expressed as a percentage of the sale price or a dollar amount, which is greater, and another dollar amount, which is a transaction fee. This is done to allow maximum flexibility in presenting a fee, and it should be usable in a wide variety of circumstances. The fee percentage is a percentage of the sales price. The dollar amount in the middle blank is the minimum amount broker would be willing to accept from that fee percentage. The flat fee is an amount that is charged in addition to or in place of a fee percentage. One or all of these three pieces can be included as part of your fee. Fees are always negotiable. Number four, some brokers will prefer to charge this upfront fee to cover their initial investment of time and resources when showing properties to a buyer. Some brokerages may not wish to charge upfront fees to attract more listings. Other brokerages may wish to charge these fees to reduce their risk. On to dual agency. Rules and regulations of the State Real Estate Commission requires a disclosure to buyer if broker could potentially be working as a dual agent. To ensure that buyers understand in advance, the disclosure is included in the buyer agent contract. When checking this box, 
that would say you are not going to enter into dual agency. If buyer's agent shows a property to buyer that is listed by another licensee working for the same brokerage who is designated to represent the seller, neither licensee is a dual agent. If the same designated agent represents both buyer and the seller in the same transaction, that licensee is a dual agent. Moving along, Brokers services to others. The one I really want to point out is here. With this provision, buyer acknowledges that broker may work with other buyers and may show the same properties to prospective buyers. The roles and regulations of the State Real Estate Commission states that this type of activity is not in conflict of interest. In this contract, it also goes into confidentiality. Also, the expertise of real estate agents. Realtors are experts in real estate, not law, accounting or science. The next piece is about the deposit money for the buyer. Moving along to the Civil Rights Act. This paragraph alerts buyers that both federal and state legislation exists to protect against discrimination. The next piece is Megan's Law. This language encourages buyer to check the registry. 13 goes into buyer's inspections. 14, the recovery fund showing the phone number. 15 are the additional terms, the consumer notice, delivery of documents, acceptance, counterparts. Once the contract is signed, broker and buyer are legally bound by the terms of this agreement. Encourage your buyer to consult a lawyer if, if buyer has any questions about his or her rights and obligations under the contract. Make sure all potential buyers sign and date the contract. In the blank next to broker, Put the name of the real estate company as it appears on the real estate license, the salesperson or, and associate broker who is handling the contract should sign his or her name in the blank next to accepted by and put a date in the space provided. Now you are under buyer's agency.